Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another episode of Community Q&A. Now this week's question comes from Sanjay and he asks, can you go over how to add an add-on domain in cPanel? Sanjay, here's how to do it. Okay, so to add an add-on domain to cPanel, you want to first log into your cPanel and you're going to see all the different categories here on the right hand side. Scroll down until you find the domains category. Now these may be in a different order because you can order them however you want. So just scroll down until you find domains. Okay, and under domains there are several options. Uh, we're going to pick add-on domains. I'm going to quick click. Okay, you see right now I have no other add-on domains uh, on the server. Add-on domains are going to be for any time you want to create a, a domain that's going to be a separate website from your primary domain. Your primary domain is the one that's on the cPanel is kind of built around that. So if you're going to add a separate website, completely different one, that's going to be an add-on domain. Okay, so we come here, we're going to add example.com. You can see over here it tells you when it's a qualified domain name. It looks for a dot and then a, a TLD of dot com, dot org, dot you know, anything else. Okay, then hit tab and it gives you a subdomain or FTP username okay, to go coincide with that add-on domain so it can have its own FTP login. You can change this to whatever you want, but it gets ahead and kind of gives you a default. Then the document root, public HTML is the document root for your primary domain name. Your add-on domain needs its own space, so it's going to add us another folder here, and the folder typically is the same name as the domain name. That's by default. You can change it again if you want. Some people like to drop off the you know, the TLD uh, extension and just do it like that. Uh, some people like to name it something completely different altogether, so it's up to you. Okay. Now, a password. This is going to coincide or go with the FTP username. Okay. So if you're ever going to log in with this FTP username, you want to use this particular password. That's the only thing it's for. Um, you can give it you know something. off the top of your head or you can use the password generator. Okay, and if you like this one, you can click till you find one you like. Doesn't really matter. You can modify it too. If you like this but you know you want to take out the last three letters, you can do that. Um, once you find one you like, you click this little checkbox here. It says I've copied it to a safe place so you remember it. And then you hit use password and it'll replace whatever I had in here, password. You know, if there's nothing there, it just puts it in there. So that'll be the password. Again, you can make your own, however you want to do it, and it is for the FTP username only. Okay. Uh, after you're done, click Add Domain, and it goes to add it to the server. Might take a few seconds, uh, up to a minute, I think. It's going to go through and do its thing. And once it's complete, we'll see a screen here with a success message. Okay, so here's our success message. It says the add-on domain example.com has been created. All right, and uh, it tells you too, adding an add domain name to your cPanel does not automatically register the domain. If you have not yet registered the domain, you know, you want to do so. So you can create anything you want as an add-on domain. Just because you put google.com in here as an add-on domain does not mean that you own google.com. It just means you put it on the server here. You know, and it won't even work unless you, you know, it's, you're still going to go to Google unless you uh, do some changes to your server to make it go over here for your own purposes. No one else will have that modification. So if you add a domain name that you don't own yet, like you think example.com is a good idea, and you go ahead and put it on the add-on domain, it's not going to work out on the internet until you actually go register it. Okay, so make sure the domain name you put on here is either registered or you're getting ready to register it, so you can use it. Okay, uh, we can go back here. And you can see now that add-on domains has example.com there. It gives the document root, shows where things are located, it gives the username, does not give the password. So if you didn't write it down, you have to remove the add-on domain and redo it. Okay, so you remember that password if you put it in there. Um, it's not redirecting to another website, which is fine. And if you want to change that, you can click manage direction and you'll be able to add it. Say you want example.com to point to example.org which is an existing website, then you would just do that. Um, and if you want to delete the whole thing, 
just hit remove. All right, so that's how to add an add-on domain in cPanel. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comments section so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.